Okay, hello everyone, DJ Force 10, or Force X, if you will. Um, I just wanted to uh, share with you a little unboxing experience. Um, I ordered a uh, Newmark PT-01 Scratch uh, from the good people at uh, Turntable Wax, uh, or Turntable Training Wax, I should say, um, AKA Richie Roughtone. Uh, his little uh, his, his his label. Uh, I use one of his records, the Practice Your Cuts, uh, Volume Four, in my videos. If you're catching up, 365 days of scratch. Um, yeah, still going up to video 50 as of recording this. Going to record 51 tonight. Um, but I want to go watch the football in a minute. But uh, we're going to do this unboxing right here. So if you give me a second, I'm going to go grab a knife. That's what I'm looking around for. I thought. Before I start, ah, oh, that'll do. I don't have to go very far. I can continue this. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of all this well-packaged material. Now, with this, I had a couple of mods um, done to it, uh, namely the Jesse Dean uh, crossfader. Um, now, I was going to go with the stock, the little switch, uh, and kind of rock it old school with that because. Uh, got some very old scratch videos and you get people using those switches for the, the phone and line switch um, which is fine but I've I preferred I watched a lot of uh, videos online DJ City uh, it's gonna shout out Swift style is a good one um, and the portablest lounge um, stuff on Richie Ruffin's thing, uh, which I actually went to, I saw one of the events. I went to BPM in 2017 when I got back from the States. And um, I hope you can hear me over all this noise. Sorry about this. Um, no, nothing else in there, groovy. Um, yeah, and I was watching the portablest and I really saw the movement and the, the sort of, uh, the, the family, uh, vibe you get with it, uh, which is very reminiscent of when I was uh, originally scratching back in the sort of like late 90s, early 2000s. There was a very good like vibe going on, um, and then obviously I was without my turntables for a bit, so I'm kind of getting back into it. Hence the videos. So we've got the bubble wrap off, we've got the packaging off. We're going to lift this up, do this, and there we can see. Oh, without dropping it, there we go. Good catch. The new mark, PT1, scratch, boom, if you will. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna stand up now, you're gonna have a good show of my t-shirt I'm wearing. Um, and then I'm gonna open this, and this. Oh, and it's packed it full of stuff. Cable, always useful, USB. Uh, most likely for power and whatnot. And let's, let's do this. How should we do this? Let's do this this way. So here I've got another power cable, um, a sticker, a slip mat. You see that slip mat there. Got a practice your cut sticker and a turntable training wax sticker as well, which is awesome because I love stickers. Um, now I did get a couple of records as well. So we're going to find those at the bottom of this. I'm going to turn this upside down because quite frankly, better oh yes so box standard box packaging you're looking at your standard packaging which is groovy uh, looks like we've got the yeah the fader there and there we'll also have something down here as well Ooh, power cable always useful this thing also runs on batteries which is awesome because I'm gonna get out and about with this. That's the plan. So when I'm away, um, like I was away this weekend in fact, and I did do one pre-recorded video uh, for my 365 days because I was down in uh, Tiverton, in Devon, um, which was lovely. It was, I had a cream tea and everything, it was great. Um, so yeah, let me just get rid of this. Uh, do, do, make it an awkward one. Gets rid of that. I've got my invoice. Groovy. Groovy. So, I had some mods done. Let's take a look at those in a second. But, first up, some records. Richie Ruffton's Practice Your Cuts, Volume 1 and 2. 
uh, skip proof or non skip loops. Uh, 7 inch, good for that. I love the, the 12 inch version I've got for volume 4. So I may invest in more of these, but right now I'm just sort of getting a couple. And I got this because I love zombies and horror. Um, and yeah, this is the uh, killer portable or funky portable zombie cuts. So it's got things like, uh, well, it's got beats and stuff to to uh, to scratch on. Uh, but also some like zombie type samples, which could be fun. I'd do like a good sample. Um, so anyway, the new mark PT1 scratch. Um, or PTO. So we're gonna open it, which is pretty straightforward. Lid, groovy. Uh, we've got a nice bit of felt on here, as you can see. So I'm gonna remove that, uh, just like so. So, on here, we've got, let me just bring this down so you can actually see what I'm doing. There we go, cool. So, you see I've got a turntable. Mm, great for DJ. Um, got the Jesse Dean contactless crossfader on here. I also had fitted a stop start button as well because uh, traditionally these, um, when you move them over, it starts, which is good, but probably I probably find that inconvenient over time because I'm used to the, the, the stop start with the um, with the Technics. Um, so to pull off some of my scratch um, moves and whatnot. Uh, yeah, look at that. But the cut-in is um, adjustable as well, so if I don't like where it is, I can change it. Um, what else have we got on this? Uh, you've got little middle ring for 45s that don't have middles, which I have got a few. Um, I've got a whole box of 45s, mainly pop music, um, but I've got some funk stuff that my sister gave me absolutely ages ago, um, which I'm gonna dig out. It's like James Brown, stuff like that. So it could be quite quite some funky cuts going on. Um, but yeah, on this, you can, um, obviously it's got headphone out, auxiliary out, power. And also on this side, you've got USB plug-in. You've also got an input for um, basically any of your, your, your cuts and stuff that you want in there. On the bottom, which I was just removing, is the battery tray. Uh, it takes size D batteries, which is pretty, pretty big, and it must add to the weight on this. Um, but like you saw, you can run it off the mains, uh, which is why I've got this plug right here, um, which I'm gonna plug in now because I don't have any batteries. Uh, but what I want to get is a uh, USB power, power bank, um, which will be able to run um, this device. Uh, thankfully, I work for a company that I can actually get one from as well. Um, well, I get a discount on them, basically, but I can get a good quality one at a discounted rate. Uh, but what I'm going to do right now, this also has a built-in speaker into it, but you can put, um, obviously, plug it's got an output, so you can plug a speaker into that. So, what I'm going to do is just remove this plug here. I don't really think all this through, but I am unboxing. So, you know, uh, power, power, power. There we go. Get that. Let's get the, on, let's get the slip out, shall we? Because uh, that would be useful. I want to break the record straight off the bat. But yeah, it's just a normal felt slip mat. Um, might get a butter rug or the Dr. Suzuki uh, rugs on there. Um, so what we're going to do now is freshly open vinyl. There is nothing better. I give it a give it a sniff. It's like buying a new video game. You know, back in the day when you used to get big box games. Get that. Get that sniff. And when I worked for HMV for a bit, I was in. I was a stockroom controller. Yay, boring me. Um, but uh, I used to have to open the games constantly because we used to keep the discs separate. And uh, yeah, new game smell every day, uh, which was a nice little bonus. Uh, anyway, we are going to see how this works. So this is the first time of me ever using one of these. Um, so the power's on, that's there. I'm gonna hit start there. And then... <laughs>
that's real. Real. Portable, um, kind of. I got to plug it in, Starling. But um, it's also going to train me on the um, on my right hand using the cut fader. Now I can do it on that, um, but I don't always do it. I always revert to my right hand on the vinyl, left hand on the fader. Because of the way this is set up, um, it kind of forces me to be <laughs> like that. Um, so I don't. I can't. Uh, uh, what's the word? Yeah, it, it's very difficult. I can go like that, which looks fancy, but it's not comfortable. But if I do this, also it gives me a chance to do hamster style as well. If I want to use this side of the fader, so you can see that I've got that side as well. Uh, but I'm going to play around with this. Um, maybe uh, change some of the cut on there just to sort of uh, bring up um, or make it a bit more like to my liking because right now it's nice um, I just want to see what the cuts change on there so I'm going to do that um, apart from that everything else is good the only other upgrades I might make at some point uh, would maybe uh, a diamond tip stylus um, I think I'll keep the tone arm as is because I've seen a lot of people use that or you can get custom tone arms um, but I don't want to invest too much in it just yet because I don't know how far I'll take it. You know, I, I like I, I like the idea of doing this on the road, um, but also I like the idea of uh, well having options, uh, but not I don't like plowing too much cash into something uh, if this does work. Not that I like good enough, but you know this this works absolutely fine from the, from the get go. Um, let's see if we get some more. Let's find something. Oh, got the end of the record. Yeah. Cut like this. Uh, 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 cut like that. Uh, cut like that. That's already cut. Uh, you. So yeah, new mark PT01 modified by the good people at Turntable Training Wax. Um, Non-paid for endorsement. Fully paid for turntable out of own cash. Um, yeah, they, uh, they sent the original fader back in this box as well, in case I wanted to put that back in. I doubt I will, it's a little tiny switch. Um, but I've got a couple of records to get on with. Uh, you'll see some of my future Scratch videos when I'm out and about using this turntable. Um, so yeah, that'll be fun. Um, but yeah, just uh, yeah, if you're interested in the turntablist movement, or the portablist movement, because a full setup of turntables will cost you a, a good packet. Uh, but this is a great way of getting into it and it really does fit the culture uh, of Scratch. Um, yeah, there's uh, great videos out there. Swift Star did a, like a tour of Tokyo and DJ Sid from Slipknot, uh, or DJ Starscream, as you might know him, um, is a big endorsement of this, of this movement. And uh, yeah, which is absolutely great. Um, that's something I found out recently. Um, not known, but I've been a big fan of Slipknot for a long time, but apparently he uses this in his setup occasionally. Um, so yeah, which is pretty cool to know. Um, but yeah, um, any questions, feedback, give below. But yeah, this is not a pay for endorsement. Um, but yeah, thank you to the good people at Turntable Training Wax, the good people at Newmark. Um, give a shout out to Newmark for producing something like this. Um, obviously, you've got things like the Vesti, Vestax Handy Tracks, you've got the PTO1, which is a non scratch, but you can get faders. That, that can be um, like Velcroed to the top, which a lot of people use. Uh, but this is this is this is going to be a good start of something. Uh, really give me a uh, 
different insight to what scratch compared to what I'm used to. But yeah, until then, this is DJ Force X. That way. <laughs> Out.